all right update on the 49 uh long overdue update been a while um not much not much to show different but it's definitely been a lot of work um well somebody let me first off somebody asked me about the paint this is the paints i used uh, the createx again iridescent violet which is uh, iridescent and then uh, for the, the ghost flames I don't know if they show in here or not or on, maybe they show on the hood for the ghost flames I use this uh, iridescent electric blue createx and I cleared it with um, it's uh, that enamel clear coat from testers and uh, I didn't know that stuff takes a long time to dry and I put a lot on it um, so I it took a few days to dry I put it in the dehydrator for one day and it still it took a couple days where it wasn't still you know real tacky and then I started to wet sand out some of the blemishes starting out with thousand grit and boy was what did I get myself into a pinch you know I ended up having to wet sand the whole car moving up through all the grits all the way up to what was it 12,000 or something like that um, man that was took a day on and off of, of, of sanding every little all these little cracks and crevices that's my first time doing that and hopefully my last <laughs> and uh, I did start doing some a little bit of polishing on it I'm, I'm, I've almost got it polished up good you know final polished um, I went ahead and put the chrome on. I got the chrome done, uh, you know, around the windows and down the side. Um, of course, I've got the, to put the the bumpers and all that stuff on it still. But I was wanting to get that final polish up. Then I can put my glass in and and uh, and I've got. I'm still gonna go try to run brake lines. Uh, I started bending some wire and stuff, and I've kind of got it figured out the routing and stuff. And, it ain't gonna be real fancy, but it'll have a little detail to it. And uh, I've got some, uh, some uh, that little battery made, and I'm making some cables. And I scratch built some little ends for them. And see how that goes. And I'm also gonna put a little fuel line on it. Um, the glass came out awesome. Let me see. Let me unwrap this here. I took the the glass and I dipped it down in the future swished it around a bit and then took it out and laid them on a paper towel and I mean it is like crystal it came out beautiful uh, so I'm real happy with that because it did have some little you know it's an old kit um, but it just came out crystal clear man I love that future stuff um, and that's pretty much can't really think of much else on the car. I've started doing some detailing in the engine bay. You know, I scratch, uh, put that scratch, built that booster, and for the brakes and all that. Um, I did have to. I ain't figured out the headers yet. I don't have an exhaust on it. Um, I thought I was going to have to go with the stock exhaust because I I should have tried these out. These little headers. I have no idea how that they're supposed to work, but. I'm going to make them work. Otherwise, I've got to cut the stock exhaust to get it up around the axles now. Because I sure as heck don't want to tear the rear axle back out. So, I'd have to cut the stock exhaust to get it glued in. Uh, and I'm going to try to get these to work. I think I have an idea. And they're going to kind of come out right behind the front tire. Uh, but, of course, i got to you know, chrome them or whatever I'm going to do there. So, i got them glued on to a stick right here where I can they're primered right now and I think I'm gonna chrome them up I ordered some of that all clad paint so it's gonna be it might be a week before I get it so I'm kind of I'm waiting on that I got to spray the black on it and get get that ready uh, the bumpers it's uh you know it's got the little two-piece bumpers for the front and, and for the back well when I cut them from the chrome tree they it just took like chunks of chrome off of the the bumpers so and there wasn't a way around it you know you can't sand it out so I'm gonna use that Alclad to do these uh, bumpers and stuff too so I'm kinda that's where I'm at waiting on that <clears throat> I should have everything else done by then and then be ready for this stuff 
and this update on the 49. Um, I kind of started getting a little burnt out on it with all that my wet sanding and polishing, but I uh, finally got through that. Um, I'm gonna start next on this one. Let me move this out of the way. This is gonna be my. I think I decided to go ahead and do this. Color me gone. Uh, I'm not gonna do the color me gone car. I'm gonna do. I found a build online of, a, of an actual Dodge 330 uh, that a guy's doing, and uh, and I contacted him, asking about the car a little bit, and and uh, you know he's got pictures, all the details, the drivetrain, the engine, all the stuff on there. Um, so I'm gonna try to replicate that car. Asked him if that was cool. He's more than happy about it. He said he used to build models when he was young. He would be very interested in, in seeing the model build. Uh, he's helped me with the paint. So I guess that's what I'm going to do. And I'll post a link to the side of that car when I get started on it. And uh, of course I had to order some paint. And and, I, and of course it doesn't have, I had to get uh, scrounge up some parts to uh, match his version. But it's going to be pretty killer, I think, when it's done. And I've actually got something to go by, to you know, to shoot for details and stuff, you know, that are on a real car that I can try to replicate. So there's going to be a little bit of scratch building and, and a little more pushing my, my abilities um, beyond the box stock a little bit. So that's the next project. And uh, uh, that's it for my update. Um, yeah, it's coming along good, looking good. I've just been busy with a lot of other things as well, so it's been hard to, you know, stay on it really heavy. Uh, but, yeah, it's, uh, that's where she's at. Thanks for tuning in.